Hi guys, today let's see how to implement routing in Angular 2 applications. So uh, first of all, we'll go and get the Angular 2 seed from the uh, Angular 2 official website. Let's do that. Okay, uh, Angular quick start, yeah. Okay, I'm downloading the quick start source here. And I'm cloning this repo here so that I could use it. Angular, Angular to root. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's just you know navigate to the directory and i'll do an npm install i'll pause the video here guys so that you know okay now it's done so uh, i will be using vs code for this tutorial and i have gone ahead and opened up this uh, angular 2 root uh, directory in this i mean angular 2 root project in this uh, vs code editor so the next step is uh, for the front end interface to create a fancy front end i'd rather be using bootstrap material design as you saw in my angular to form validation video so uh, for, uh, rather than installing it using npm or bower i'll just you know go ahead and use the cdn which i prefer is an easier way to demo i mean for this demonstration so i have already got the links here i'll just copy paste these and uh, the JS files as long as there is internet now I need not worry about my dependencies right okay uh, now let's go ahead and test and see whether this works uh, npm install npm start Yeah, it goes fine. My first Angular 2 app. Uh, this comes from the app component dot uh, file, right? Okay. Uh, now let's see. Uh, first of all, before explaining uh, routing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two pages in our application, and then show you how to navigate from one page to another. This is what you're going to do. This is a simple app, right? I'm just scratching the surface. Okay. So first of all, I'll uh, you know open up bootstrap material design elements which would be helpful for me in designing this and i will use a nav bar uh, preferably this one uh, so i'll just take the code from here and then uh, you know copy paste this into my uh, component dot yes oh the template has been given here itself so i'll just go ahead and remove this guys and uh, no first i'll create the file new file app dot uh, component dot html and i'll paste all those stuff here and then save this and go ahead to app component yes remove this entire thing template url uh, app slash app dot component component dot html okay let's see if this goes fine now close this no oh, there's an error obviously let's see what error fail to load app app component dot html it's here right oh i have made a spelling mistake here uh, 
que resin es component ya no let's see yeah see uh so sorry guys i just made a spelling mistake there now you could see that uh, uh, our changes are getting reflected here and we have a, nav a navigation bar right so we don't need all these stuff so i'll just go ahead and trim that code to match our expectation we just need two buttons right two buttons on the navigation thing so uh, let the brand be there active and then link and then we know don't need this drop box right what are the drop down we don't need so we'll go ahead and remove this drop down thing entirely okay and the drop down is removed then we'll remove the search also we don't need that too and the right hand side as well right hand side we don't need anything i guess so up to this you will okay now we have just two things uh we'll just modify this according to our brand uh, Mm, angular to root demo and this one will have it as uh, the first page will have it as about us about us and the second page would be uh, i don't know pricing pricing okay two simple pages in the application move this class here so that both look the same okay now you get it right about us and pricing two uh, navigation links on the navbar okay uh, now uh, let's go ahead and create those two so to create those two i'll first of all uh, uh, create the ts files uh, what are those about us about us dot component component dot ts and one more file uh, pricing dot component dot ts right two files and about us component dot ts i need a html file about us dot html and for the pricing i need another html file pricing dot html okay two files uh, now i'll go to the uh, about us and i'll give uh, i don't know what should i give uh, team members h1 team members and slash h1 and then in the about us component dot ts uh, what should i give uh, export obviously export class sorry class about us component and then uh, i need to import component component sorry from angular to slash core uh, and then at component the decorator selector um, about us sorry us template url app slash uh, about us dot html okay and then uh, uh, what else maybe i'll have an array here team members team members uh, this would be an array of type string okay and uh, uh, ng i'll write an init function too on sorry on ng on init uh, this start uh, team members equal to uh, ravi raja uh, steve and uh, what else um, trigger 
ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் கிவன் த்ரீ டீ மெம்பர்ஸ் இன் சே சம் ரேண்டம் டேட்டா இன் சே திஸ் டீ மெம்பர்ஸ் அரே அண்ட் இந்த அபவுட் அஸ் பேஜ் எல் கோ அண்ட் ஷோ தட் அரே யூ வில் எல்ஐ ஸ்டார் என்ஜி ஃபார் ஈக்குவல் டு ஹேஷ் ஐட்டம் ஆஃப் டீ மெம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஐட்டம் okay now about this page is ready it will have a team members header uh, heading as a team members and uh, these two as the uh, sorry the list of uh, mem- members will get displayed there we have given a random list with just uh, three data uh, three names it is uh, then we will have the pricing dot html pricing dot html we will make it simple it will have a pricing heading and uh, it's enough for now and then pricing component also we'll write it in you know simple component pricing component um, and this would be at uh, sorry not at import component from sorry from uh, angular to slash core right now we'll write the decorator component selector will be pricing and uh, what else uh, okay selector would be pricing and uh, template url so template url would be app slash pricing dot html okay now pricing component is also ready for now and uh, we have this about us here and uh, about the state html everything is ready we'll go back to app dot com uh, component dot ts and then what we need to do is uh, we need to create a, a, a route to this when you click on about us it should take us to about us page and when we click on pricing it should take us to pricing right so uh, by default angular 2 doesn't come with the router uh, angular 2 router that we will use here so what uh, we need to do is we need to first of all go to index.js sorry index.html sorry index.html and then find the angular2.dev.js is here right just copy that replicate that and instead of angular2 give here as router router will contain all the components or rather the classes which you will use for the specific purpose of routing right uh, routing okay uh, so um, once we are done this we'll go back and uh, go to main.ts first of all and then since we will be using routing in a different uh, play different files different ts files we can just give it here right in bootstrap itself directly we can give it uh, you have seen this previously you know uh, if you want if you are going to use the http service in several uh, locations uh, we would rather give it here as common right we'll just bootstrap it along with this uh, app component right that's the exactly what we are doing here in case of this uh, router as well so this would be router providers router providers is a constant array that contains a reference to all the router classes uh, what is this angular 2 slash router okay and then here i'll just add a comma and router providers okay now this will get bootstrapped along with the app uh, now uh, i'll go back to app.component.ts and i'm free to use all the router classes here so i'll go ahead and first of all create a root config so that i can define the roots root config from angular 2 slash router okay now uh, how do i define this root config it has a separate decorator called uh, uh, root config and then i am using that decorator uh, obviously uh, this should take a, sorry oh this should take an array as you can see in the uh, what's that intelligence this should take an array sorry guys i feel like you know this font size might be too small for you maybe i'll just increase it go ahead and mm. yeah 
Här är sitt. Så det är ett lite med tid. Yeah, now it's bigger, right? You could see it more clearly, right? Okay. Uh, so uh, where was it? Yeah, inside the root config, I'll uh, define the uh, configuration. So the configuration would be look like this, right? It will have three parts. One is the path. The path will tell us how the uh, URL pattern would look. So first of all, this would be about us, right? And then the second one would be the uh, name name would be about us and the third would be the component which we are going to use uh, here it will be about us component right about us component what what did we give there in the about us yeah about us component the same we have given here uh, so we'll come back to app dot oh it's underlining because i haven't yet you know imported that thing right about us component from uh, dot slash about us dot component component yeah okay now uh, yeah that's it so what we need to do then we need to create one more thing for pricing right yeah that's what we need to do we'll add a comma here copy this paste it again and then here in the place of about us we will just give pricing and here we will give pricing and here we will give pricing component okay now we have defined two uh, configurations that is routing configurations and then we will just import that also pricing sorry pricing okay uh, now uh, naturally everyone would get a question what if the user enters uh, some other url pattern that doesn't match with these two so we need to uh, redirect the user to one of these urls right so if uh, that page is not found if that url pattern is not found so in order to do that we'll write one more thing uh, this would have the url pattern like this star other okay which literally means that any other uh, patterns after the forward slash other than those two the about us and pricing okay this will have the name as uh, other and the component instead of the component we are redirecting redirecting to the existing component right so we will just give redirect to and this will take an array as you can see in the intelligence this will take an array and uh, i'll give the about us sorry yeah now we have three path config uh, root config uh, configs for this uh, application one will send us to the about us page the second one will send us to the pricing and the third one will redirect i mean any other url pattern will be redirected back to the about us component that's what we have done here and uh, so we need to set a base url right because the local host uh, colon port number will be the base url right uh, after that only this about us or pricing whatever url pattern you are matching here will come so we will go back to index.html and here after the uh, head we will give base href equal to forward slash okay uh, then we have saved this too and uh, what else we need to do we need to 
come back to app.component.ts yes, we have created the path configurations we have created and go back to uh, app component html where is it app component html here what you need to do is you need to specify a place where you need that uh, uh, files to be shown so for that you need to add a router outlet slash router outlet okay this is where uh, those two files the pricing and about us will be shown uh, in in other words if i want to say simply the entire code above has the this entire code is for the nav bar and below the nav bar those two files will be shown this uh, that would be decided by the uh, link on which you clicked right so this uh, router outlet okay router outlet will obviously throw an error because it's, this is a directive and uh, you know uh, we didn't add it in uh, dot component dot ts so root config we have in here comma root outlet okay and uh, here in the directives give uh, root outlet yeah you get it obviously right because i have uh, used router outlet i need to uh, include it here as well so that the directive will get recognized in the app.component.html that's what i have done so hopefully i haven't made any errors but i'm not so sure let's see whether this runs fine and then we'll okay first of all uh, about us page gets displayed as usual so no this will this should get displayed right this about us should get displayed because when another any other pattern uh, is met in the url it will redirect us to the about us page that's the whole point of this application right uh, but uh, the thing is we could use uh, use default here use as default here to denote that uh, this should be the uh, page uh, that is shown when the app loads so this would be naturally the path the application chooses whenever it loads uh, since this is we have set the use as uh, default to true so uh, i'll save this again now naturally it shows this and then when i click on pricing nothing happens why oh okay sorry uh wait uh, let's see the other stuff as well if i mm, type some other thing uh, like uh, uh, contact it routes us back to about us so uh this is working and uses default is working right but these two are not working right because it shows javascript void the reason is that we haven't set that in the app dot common dot html if you will see uh, a href equal to this one and a href. if you set this here to the uh, pattern which we gave there for example this time setting it to about us and this time setting it to uh, what's it uh, pricing now if you see if you click on pricing it takes you to the pricing page pricing page we gave uh h2 pricing right this is the one and about us page naturally uh, the three team members uh as you can see i have iterated through the team members array and the team members i am giving it is h1 and uh, in the app component.es the three team members who are being shown now uh you might ask me this question if you had noticed when i click on pricing the entire application gets reloaded and then it's shown pricing when i click on about us the entire application gets reloaded and it shows the about us page or if i try to navigate to some other page let's say uh, check out it redirects but the entire application gets relo uh, reloaded and then it shows the about us page so what's the point of a single page application uh, if for each and every navigation or if we, for each and every route re redirection if the whole application gets reloaded right that's there is no single page concept uh, in, invoked here right so what we need to do is that this is because we are using the ahref attributes of the anchor tag to provide the routing here to provide the url pattern here that's the reason so what we need to do about that uh, let's see first of all go to app.component.html we need to remove this href and instead of this we need to give a special directive called a special attribute called router link that comes with the angular 2 router uh, classes so we'll replace that here router link equal to sorry equal to uh, it takes an array about us 
similarly router link equal to uh, what was that so we didn't close it here router link equal to pricing now this are uh, this about us and pricing right here it is given i'm giving inside the array right that comes from where did i get it from that comes from uh, you might have guessed it obviously that comes from uh, here the name i'm giving here right so uh, whenever i make a click on that it will map to this name come here see this pattern uh, go here and uh, this pattern would obviously correspond to the about us component so it will go to the about us component about us component as a template url app about us html and therefore it will take us to the about us html this is what is happening in the backend so uh, but uh, this router link is a direct uh, again a directive which the page wouldn't recognize right so we need to add that here let's go ahead and add it sorry router link right router link and uh, here again router link okay let's see if this works hopefully it should work about us pricing yeah now you could see right the whole thing is not reloading and the loading function doesn't appear it just uh, the url pattern just changes and then the concept of you know this is the entire concept of single page applications right the entire page doesn't get reloaded but the content inside gets injected as and when uh, we click we click on the li navigation links right so this is what uh, the whole concept of single page application is and this is what we are achieving through routing so now uh, what we need to do now we will do some other stuff as well i'll show you some other stuff as well first of all this router outlet router link all these have a common array like you know i'll showed you here right main dot uh, ts i showed you router providers will contain all it's a con uh, constant array that references that has a reference to all the router classes which we could bootstrap on so similarly here we have one more thing like that and that is called uh, router directives the array is called router router underscore directives okay and instead of this also we can simply use router underscore directives you get it right so those two will router link and uh, the other thing router outlet will come under the, this router directives and so our code will look a little less messy that's all okay now uh, that we have achieved root, routing easily let's talk about root params for example root params are nothing but parameters that are passed along with the root while navigation navigation so uh, how can i do that so let's see an example on how you can do that first of all uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make these three team members clickable uh, that is i'm going to ensure that whenever some user clicks on this team member then he is redirected to some other page and while redirecting uh, i'll pass in a parameter along with it so how am i going to do that let's see first of all i'll copy this i'll write the root configuration first and then paste it here and then maybe you know uh, let's name that member details Number details the new one and then i'll pass in an id here that is this is the param and this will be member details this will be what is that uh, member details component okay and i'll you know copy this paste it here and member details component this will be member details component okay so this is not existing now that's why it's showing like this let's go ahead and create it so that you know uh, what was that member details dot component dot ts export class uh, member details component okay export class member details component uh, import component sorry from angular 2 slash core and then uh, i'll write the decorator component uh, sorry component right component uh, selector Number details select is not necessary, I'm just writing it out of habit, and then uh, template 
reward b or what can it be so app member details dot html member details dot html for now we'll have a dummy member details dot html this will be having h member details okay simple thing uh, now come back to member details dot component dot uh, this thing and uh, nothing more here i guess so we'll go back to about us component dot ts now we have sorry app dot component dot ts the red underlines have disappeared because we now have a member details component and this has a specific url pattern and this will take in an id as a parameter so let's make this clickable in about dot com about us dot html to do that uh, simply replace this with uh, no, don't replace that. This silly let it exist and for the ID ID we don't have right for ID we will just pass in the index here. Uh, to do that I'll declare another local variable and then pass in the index. So this index will be stored in I right. So here I'll just give a uh, anchor tag router link. This you have seen already right. Router link equal to uh, what was that member member details component you know member details component member details right just member details app dot component dot yes uh well, member details yeah member details so about uh, stored html member details and then uh, uh, yeah that's it so this will close the anchor tag say this obviously this won't work because the router link is not present in about us dot component dot ts as you can see here uh, but it's present there right app dot component dot ts let's see if this works if, if it doesn't work we'll worry about that later on let's do this thing Number details dot Okay, this hasn't compiled details dot component dot is not found member details dot component dot ts is there let me just so that it compiles again and let's see yeah member details dot component dot js is now present router link problem what happened go back to why oh, i thought this wouldn't occur because we have given the router link there but obviously this occurs so let's go ahead and add it here as well import uh, what was that router directives right Import uh, directives uh, from sorry from sorry, 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 sorry. from angular to slash router and we need to directives router directives yeah now it would go fine it's the worst the problem root generator for id was not okay 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 i haven't included the id right number details this year i should have given a comma and then id what was that i gave i i is the variable which we used here for index which we will be sending okay this i am just doing it for the demo guys actually the id should be the id which we get this entire team members you will be getting from a db right 
so each and every uh, value in the db will have a specific id right so that id should be passed along with here so let's see okay now these three are clickable links you can see obviously let's see we'll click the first one we go to member details now if you see the id 0 is passed i'm going back id 1 is passed id 2 is passed right so this is how you pass now you can pass several other parameters as well here i am just passing the id so you can this is how you pass root params along with the while well, navigation so this is one concept so now what else we have we need to what else you can see yeah that's it guys that's about it i have seen how to do the routing how to redirect when the url pattern specific pattern is not found and how to pass parameters along with the routing so this is more than enough for uh, writing a single maybe i'll show you one more thing i'll uh, have a button here because so far we have just been clicking navigation links or the anchor links which uh, upon clicking you just get redirected to another page right or, or get routed to another page that's what you have seen so you might ask me the question if there is no anchor link and if there is just a button or after performing a specific operation i need to go back to one page what will i do then you might ask them ask me that question right so for that case i'll just you know make a button here and then show you how to do that so i'll go to member details here i'll have a button button uh, button uh, we'll just maybe beautify that button button class equal to uh, button button raised these are just material design classes that bootstrap material design classes so button primary okay then uh, we'll bound the click even click equal to what shall i uh, move to page okay this is simple right move to page a function and then here i'm giving go back or yeah go back this is not a back button guys don't confuse this is just a simple button i'll do click okay now we will see a button here but we'll go to member details component.es and actually write code for that button so what we'll do is uh, we need a um, we need a reference to router here right so that you can import router from uh, angular sorry angular to slash uh, router okay now we need to use this router uh, inside our thing right so what are we going to do for that uh, okay uh, let's have a constructor here constructor and this sort in private underscore router underscore usually you denote for uh, use it to denote private uh, variables and this will have router okay and this is function and then uh, what else uh, what was the name we gave that move to page i guess move to page this is the function and then here i'll this start underscore router dot navigate to uh, what was that oh this should be array right let's see if this works first time you have to about us clicking it comes here member details one and i'm clicking it goes back to about us you can see that right now if i click a button uh, the button will take me to the routing base so what you need to do is you need to get a reference to the router and then uh, include it as a local reference here and then use that to uh, use that and use dot navigate to go to whichever component you want so you can use this anywhere right you can just you know make a server call or something and upon successful completion of that call uh, you can have a spinner and once the call completes the spinner will disappear and the page will navigate to another page so uh, yeah that's what uh, this navigation tutorial was about now that uh, i have shown you how to uh, you know implement router in a single page application to navigate to different pages of your application not only that i have shown you how to you pass in root params and also how to navigate to other pages using buttons other than i mean using any other stuff other than uh, anchor tags right so this is how routing is done in angular 2 apps guys 
so yeah that was the whole point of this tutorial if you found this helpful in any way or if you found this helpful uh to you uh, kindly subscribe to my channel guys and hit the thumbs up there it will be you know more of a motivation to me and uh, it will help the others it will help others to find this video as well uh so yeah that's it guys and uh, and you guys have been really supportive of me uh so i really thank you guys for watching all my videos and you know hitting like and commenting on my videos so i really thank you guys for that and i know that many guys have said this and i also know that the audio is a bit uh, cackling on my that's the word they used cackling on my videos i know this because uh, i am recording the audio from uh, you know microphone which has a mic i mean uh, sorry headphone which has a mic microphone which has a mic that's weird okay uh, leave that Uh, headphone which has a mic so obviously the mic could be of you know less inferior quality and this i get a lot of noise i am using a large amount of filters to remove all those noise and provide this audio to you guys so that's why the audio is a bit cackling so i'm saving up to get a new mic and once i get the mic uh, anyway leave it that's not the detail so i hope this found this video was helpful to you guys and so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next video so thanks guys bye